Welcome back to this final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Alana McLaughlin, and the uh, topic is child neglect and abuse, and she's given us some information in reference to what she considers to be some of the classic cases of child abuse and neglect, even including some of the more recent developments, talking about un uh, cases that are still open in reference to this. But now she has agreed to uh, talk about child abuse and substance and drug abuse. And of course, Alana, Alana let's uh, pick up uh, with uh, some information in reference to uh, child abuse and neglect, as well as drug and substance abuse as part of what you consider to be child abuse. Substance abuse. Well, substance abuse is basically, it's going around telling people, hey, you want to come try some heroin, some, some coke, some, some drugs, some weed, some pot? You want to come smoke this? You want to come smoke out of a pipe or something? No. N O. You can be testing your friends. Hey, girl, let's go to this party and go smoke. No. No. All, the only thing I have to say is no. You can, you can go around doing stuff, but just you should really try to stop it is, instead of encouraging these young kids because they don't know any better. Th they don't know right from wrong. They don't know right from left. You need, you need to help these kids instead of influencing them to do all these bad things. I've seen brothers go up saying, hey, you want to go beat up this kid? I'm going to go beat up this kid. The little kid says, can I come? They're, they're, if they see their brother or their sister going up doing that, they'll, they'll automatically think if they're doing it, then it's the right thing, but it isn't. It isn't. And, and, and so go on. It, 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 it's, it's real sad to see these kids nowadays and going around smoking, smoking different things, uh, listening to all this bad music. Kids my, kids my age usually cuss people out, stick up their middle fingers, rob people, shoot people, and, and that's not even going, that's the minimum. Going to the extreme would be uh, robbing the president. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and so in a real sense, Lana, you, you, you've seen all of these things and, and, and you believe that uh, somehow that your testimony in reference to them can influence uh, other young people that they ought not to be involved in it and will have some kind of impact upon making them move away from these things. What are some of the health habits, uh, 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 health uh, related to some of this uh, substance abuse and drug abuse? Uh, Lana? Well. Most kids don't know that 50, uh, that if you have a step parent uh, and your biological dad or a mother and a step mom or step dad, the step parent is 100% more likely to kill as in beat them to death and to beat the biological son or daughter because they think that once the kid's out the way, they can have the parent all to themselves. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, that's being what you call selfish, mm -hmm. inconsiderate, and being a plain jerk. That's mm -hmm. just being mean. That's just low down mean. Mm -hmm. But it's just that all these people go around, like in Libya, uh, uh, this man has been, uh, he's been in power for 42 years, and he's not giving up. Mm -hmm. That's called sharing. They gave you that power, now you owe them 42 years worth of, you owe them for 42 years worth, 42. And and the more you say, the more you owe them. So I suggest you just take off your hat and give it to them back. Just, mm. just, just give it to them. Just give back to them. Just give back. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so you do know of uh, some of some issues in which uh, young children are involved in in, in your school and, and, and not only in your school, in all communities and et cetera. And you think that somehow uh, some of the things that you're saying would influence them as it has uh, in, in, in undoubtedly influenced them dealing with your uh, bully club. Now tell me the dimensions about this bully club. I think you've mentioned it on a couple of, a couple of occasions. I have. Let's talk well, about it. Mom, I saw all these kids being bullied and all this stuff and this and I just got a thought in my head immediately. We should start a bully group. So I got my guidance counselor, um, Linda Grayson, and she is our 